Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to go over something new that I'm building in order to take a company's sales reps or a founder's best insights about a company or a prospect, and then automatically generating the first line based off of those insights. Uh, a lot of the times when I write first lines, they, they can basically only do one thing and they are not dynamic and they, uh, you know, don't take your insights into account. They're very much like, hey, you can only build this one line and then let's see what happens. And so what I've done here is I've stacked a ton of information into the prompt uh, using clay.com in order to get information about the prospect. We have everything you could ever want to know about their LinkedIn profile. Uh, and then we have information about their company. We have information about their growth rate as well, because I just wanted to include that. And basically, this is what the prompt looks like. So this is what we started with. And so I have this massive, massive prompt where, and I give it a ton of inputs, like the current job title, their LinkedIn summary, their job experience summary, their company description, their headcount growth in the last three months, and then the last two job positions of their title. And so basically, um, I just let it rip and we could just see the messages that I would write if you know, you didn't give anything. So it's just saying, you know, as the chairman, co-founder and CEO with extensive experience in data storage and management, I'm reaching out to potentially collaborate on optimizing your sales pipeline. Not bad. It's taking that from, from the LinkedIn summary. This has no context on the things that I want it to say. So now let's move over. And so now in this prompt, I gave it one example where instead of having everything as a dynamic field inside of Clay, I gave it all of the examples. So I told it what the summary was. And I told it what the company description was and all of these other inputs. And so now we go from saying, uh, as the chairman and CEO uh, with extensive experience of data management, I'm reaching out to potentially collaborate on optimizing your pipeline. Okay, great. Now with one example, we could say, as a leading data storage CEO, I understand the importance of optimizing your sales pipeline to drive growth in data-centric organizations. Okay, mm, not so great. Uh, as a successful fintech CEO, I'd like to share how our solution could significantly increase your sales pipeline. See, it's like missing this context that I want to be reaching out to a prospect. I don't necessarily want to, um, uh, you know, like I'm not the expert. They are the expert. And so when we move to two examples where so I gave it one example and then I told it what I want it to write. And then I gave it another example, and then I told it what to write. So let's see how this gets improved. Um, so, I, so as a successful CEO in data storage solutions, I'd like to explore how our AI-driven automation could optimize your sales pipeline. Not terrible. As a CEO dedicated to transforming oncology care, are you maximizing your sales pipeline to reach even more health professionals? See, that's really, really good. And we've only trained it on two uh, examples. As the CEO of Invaluable, the world's largest online fine art and antiques marketplace, are you looking to boost your sales pipeline? See, that's interesting because we have that mess up there. Like, I don't, I don't like how long they kept that, but I wonder what it says. See, and when we give it three examples, see how that, this fixes it? So as the CEO of world's largest online fine art marketplace, do you have an outbound strategy to expand your sales pipeline? Really, really good. And so basically what I'm trying to show is that I believe in Clay, and you don't need all of these ChatGPT examples. I believe in Clay, what we can do is we can give ChatGPT four to five examples of what you would say to a prospect, given all of the information from their LinkedIn profile, from their LinkedIn company page, other data points, we can bring in recent news, like all of this different stuff. Based off of that, we could give it four to five examples of what you would say and then have it write the line. So see how, like when we gave it no examples, it was, and eh. when we give it one example, it was a little bit better. Two examples, it was a little bit better. But three, it's looking pretty good. As a CEO of revolutionizing healthcare, are you exploring innovative solutions to grow your sales pipeline and drive growth? Not bad. As a CEO focused on transformative technology in healthcare, are you interested in innovative ways to grow your sales pipeline? Not bad as well. And so um, all of these can be, of course, manipulated by the prompt that you give it, as well as the examples that you give it. But this is what I'm thinking about lately. And um, I will launch a campaign with this, but I wanted to release it to other people so that they could start using it inside of Clay and start thinking about, you know, if you had access to 15 data points, what would you say? And then why not just scale that 
from, you know, five or six messages of, of examples of what you would say, and then scale that to, you know, your whole TAM of exactly what you would say. And here, I don't even have a really a direction that I'm going with this. I'm just testing these things. I've given it three examples and it's already writing pretty good first lines for the email. And so, uh, yeah, play around with it. If you don't have access to clay, DM me on LinkedIn and I'll happily give you access. Uh, start playing with this stuff, guys. Uh, AI is coming for us.